Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to Roots and Refuge Farm. I've had a really cool and somewhat crazy 24 hours and today I just want to tell you about it. So uh, some of you may know this, I've mentioned it multiple times, but before I did the whole homestead, homeschool, YouTube thing, I actually was a photographer by trade. I had a business and I specialized in birth photography. I love birth. It is absolutely incredible. I will never tire of the miracle of watching a person get born. And honestly, um, I love the fact that having a farm does give uh, me the opportunity to still experience birth through my animals having babies. I just, I'm absolutely enamored with it. Um, now I do not do births for business anymore. I don't do photography for business, but I still have the equipment, obviously still have the skills and I still love it very much. So occasionally whenever one of my friends has a baby, I will end up photographing a birth. I probably do one or two a year and it's something that I really, really love uh, having the opportunity to still do. So I've been on call for a birth for the last three weeks. One of my friends was due about a week and a half ago and I've been sleeping with my phone by my head, um, everything packed and ready to go. Night before last, I fell asleep without double checking everything. I fell asleep earlier than I intended to and woke up yesterday morning to a text saying, hey, it's definitely time head this way. So I flew out of bed, woke Jeremiah up like, oh my gosh, you know, help me get out the door. So I'm, you know, like rushing to get clothes on. He is getting my bag and everything together. And I think I was driving down the road like seven minutes after I woke up. I arrived at their house. Um, of course, I live 35 minutes from everywhere out here in the country. I arrived at their house and uh, the baby was born about 35 minutes later. Her labor went super fast and it was an absolutely beautiful beautiful home birth with a beautiful healthy baby girl as the result and just an incredibly wonderful thing to experience. Yesterday Jeremiah held down the fort here at the farm. Um, he did the chores and actually uh, did some footage of that so I will go ahead and let you guys watch that here. I've just uh, been looking over the garden and into the field that the horse has moved into. Been seeing them kind of just, you know, graze up and down. And it's just been really nice to just see how much their life has improved. And uh, I just have a really good feeling about moving forward with that. And, you know, the sun sets against this window on that side of the garden and behind that field that they're in. And yesterday we, we came back and we're just standing here watching them because they're standing pretty close up to our property line. And we were just watching them with the sun coming in behind them and it was just really beautiful and just had a lot of peace on it. Well, today has kind of been just a, a little bit different day. Uh, I haven't gotten anything done. I've mostly just been hanging out with my kids that are here, two of them were with grandpa. Jessica left this morning because her friend finally went into labor. Uh, and so she was actually uh, at her friend's house shooting that birth. Um, and Jessica always comes back super emotionally drained from that, which I understand. Being that she just got home just a little bit ago, I'm about to go around and feed everything and just take you guys with me. I'm having to bribe them to follow me with feed. But once they get used to where I feed them at in this new field, should be should be fairly easy. <sighs> Now this morning, um, so we're just 24 hours after being abruptly, uh, you know, jarred away by the realization that I had a baby to go watch be born. Um, this morning we got up, it was a leisurely morning and Maya and I were sitting at the table um, drinking some tea and reading Bible, having just our nice leisurely morning. And I realized that the dogs had been outside for a minute. Now our dogs keep getting out of the fence. <laughs> Look at those bad dogs. You are not supposed to be out. We're gonna have to run an electric wire because they keep climbing over the fence. And so we were letting them out to, to use the bathroom, but we're not leaving them out there for more than about 10 minutes because as soon as they get bored, they're getting out. We don't want them to run away. We don't want them to get hurt. I jumped up and ran outside to bring my dogs in. When I got out there, Con ran right up to the back door, but Bear was in the goat yard. I did a quick scan of the goat yard and Maggie was not with the herd. Now, herd animals um, stay with their herd and if they are off isolated, it's usually because something's wrong or they're in labor. And of course, I've been watching Maggie closely. 
So I went out to the barn and uh, came upon a scene and Maya ended up coming out with the camera just a little while after I got out there. So here's that footage. I came out to let the dogs back in and uh, I looked out and just like did a quick head count of the goats by the feeder and I noticed she was missing, which obviously like set up alarm in my mind. Um, and I looked in and I saw her head in here and I could just tell immediately that she was either in labor or had just kitted and ran in here. And this one, she was cleaning off and was looking, you know, fresh and stuff. This one was laying completely uh, unresponsive. So I actually used my shirt and rubbed it down and got its airwaves cleared. This is a boy. I haven't even looked at the black one yet. <laughs> <laughs> funny <laughs> oh man you're stressed out well, i didn't have my phone to call you and so i was like crap i've got an unresponsive kid on the ground but okay i think he's doing okay oh. <laughs> darling you've already had your Good moment boys i don't know she doesn't seem she seems like she's hurting So, yeah, <laughs> I've had a really birth filled 24 hours for real. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not that cold out here. I mean, what is it? Like in the 40s, I think. I'm in a tank top. My shirt, I had a, a flannel shirt on, but that baby was unresponsive. And so I just grabbed my shirt off and started rubbing down, uh, rubbing him down and cleaning his airwaves out. I'm a little nervous about what she's doing. Jeremiah just ran inside to get some molasses and uh, some selenium and me a clean sweatshirt because I'm cold. <laughs> okay, so I'm watching her and she's still bearing down and um, I felt like she was probably done because there's been a little bit of a pause, but I don't like the way she's acting. Right now, one of the babies is starting to nurse, which is a good thing because that will induce uh, contractions. Hmm. and I'm really watching closely I don't know how long this has been going on but based on the fact that that little white kid looked like it had just come out when I walked out here I think that we're still very much in the realm of things being safe but if I don't see I'm, I'm just gonna stay right with her and see um, We've moved them over to the stall right next to the one they were in um, because this one has a door on it. This is the like isolation kidding stall. And we also have a light in here uh, to add some warmth for like one of the corners so that the kids kind of have a place where they can go get a little warmer. Um, she is really kind of showing a little more interest in cleaning them, especially the white one. She was giving all of her attention to the black one. And I'm still watching her. Um, she's She's bared down a couple of times and I've seen her backside bulge. Um, I wasn't sure if there was a kid trying to present in the wrong position. So I actually just reached in uh, and just felt a little bit and it feels all pretty soft. I don't feel any like parts. So I think maybe she's just trying to deliver the afterbirth. This is our third year in kidding. Our third year. We've had goats for four years, four and a half years. <coughs> I've never had to put my goat, hand in a goat until this morning. Jeremiah has. Jeremiah has assisted uh, birth before. He had. We had one have triplets, and I wasn't here at the time. And uh, one of the triplets was presenting misposition, and it wasn't coming out. And so he had to reach in and flip it around. But yeah, that's my first time ever. I I needed to to feel and make sure she didn't have a kid that was presenting. I was nervous because when I got out here, she was acting really strange. Like she was just hugging her eyes really, really big. And I know she was in pain, but she seemed really freaked out. And I was concerned because, you know, I've been with a lot of goats when they give birth. And the way she was just real shook acting, I, I don't know. I was just concerned that something was wrong. However, um, when I got out here, my dog was in this yard. Bear was in this yard. And we are going to have to put up an electric line around our yard because like the other day the dogs got out 
we don't want to risk anything happening to them but he was in this yard and i think just his presence being able to get in the barn where she was kidding i think that's why she was freaked out because as soon as we got him out of there here um she seems to be relaxing so i feel a lot better about it yeah she is settling down a lot now that we've got her in this uh stall with the door and I'm feeling a lot better about how she's acting. She started cleaning off the white baby and he's obviously responsive standing up back there. Um, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot better. It really scared me to come out here and find her acting so freaked out. Look at Mayhem. She's, she's seriously like my most compassionate goat. Anytime any of the other goats are kidding, Mayhem's always standing right there. Um, She's real vocal with them and just so interested. She's so sweet. Are you she's, a little midwife goat? She's a goat doula. Huh, she's a goat doula. <laughs> yep, that's what, mid, that's what mayhem is. A little goat doula. She's drinking that warm molasses water. That'll um, help give her an energy boost. Now you can see that this has been a really eventful 24 hours. Definitely a wonderful 24 hours of babies and life and just the excitement that comes along with that. So I figured before I say goodbye to you guys today, let's head out to the barn and take a look at the sweet new life here at Roots and Refuge Farm. So here we have Mama with her two new babies. They're both nursing. She's still got a lot of afterbirth. But she's got two healthy baby boys. She is feeding them well and taking good care of them. <laughs> you did a good job, Max. Sweet Magdalene, you did a good job. Maggie was my first goat. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. So he's got a little blood on his face. That's just from afterbirth because she's still got some stuff hanging near her udder and they've been nursing but everybody's doing good they're nursing really well and just cute as can be nice and sturdy hey little guy they're both boys and she is such a good mommy hey handsome man look how cute they are <laughs> Now these kids are three quarter Nubian and one quarter La Mancha because she is half and half and their dad was full Nubian. Um, so they'll be good uh, dairy goat daddies for somebody who's just looking to breed dairy breeds, but they're not full blood. So they won't be like registered. Maggie is not, um, she's just a little mixed goat, but she was our first goat. We got her as a bottle baby four years ago when she was one day old. <laughs> that little tail wagon. <laughs> Happy babies. When I have goat babies in the barn, I have a hard time not just sitting out here and watching them for hours on end. Uh, I do have th some things that I need to get done this afternoon. So I need to go inside and this is where we'll part ways. But we'll be seeing a lot more of these babies as well as the other ones that we're expecting here in the next few months. We are not going to keep these guys. Uh, I will sell them as soon as they are weaned. I just have no use for them being uh, boys that are related to so much of my herd. But I am going to keep them and let her raise them um, in a couple of weeks. We'll start putting the kids up at night so that we can milk her in the morning. We will probably give them a little bit of a bottle once a day just so we can get them used to being handled by people that they can take a bottle. Um, if the need ever arises for them to be bottle fed also so that they're socialized because damn race kids that aren't handled very much can get a little bit wild and we don't want to we don't want to deal with that so that's kind of our plan but it's a really exciting day this has been a birth filled wonderful weekend uh full of fresh new life so thank you guys for hanging out with me and um i bless you <laughs> until next time